Hey guys, this is Aegis, and this is Game 4 between UMBC and the U.S. Naval Academy. Over here we have uh, Dativi Duner uh, from the U.S. Naval Academy. He's going to be playing as the uh, green Terran player. His opponent is going to be Nurzel, the red Zerg player. He usually plays Terran. Um, he's going to be playing on MLG, the Shattered Temple. So we'll see how this game goes down. The U.S. Naval Academy brought it back in the game three, winning the 2v2 match. Uh, so they're on the way to a comeback, but UMBC is still one point away from winning, and Nurzel throwing down the six pool, uh, seven pool actually. So uh, we're gonna be seeing a lot of early pressure out of Nurzel as of this point, and uh, Nurzel asking if this is MLG, and I think it should be. Yes, it is. Uh, and um, Mickey D also saying yes, it is. It looks like uh, he is the ref of this game. And there's the uh, SCV making it to the front. Going to be throwing down the uh, barracks with minerals in the hand. The Overlord checking this location. The first uh, two drones are headed across the field for Nurzel, I think. Uh, Duder's got to notice this. He's going to see that something is wrong. He needs to throw up a supply depot up at the front immediately to wall this off. And if that drone gets over there, this could be trouble. It looks like the SCV actually guarding the ramp. Oh, no. Guarding the natural expansion. Duder did not notice. This is not going to be good for him. And there's the barracks coming up, and the uh, two drones going to be nibbling away that at that SCV. And this will prevent the barracks from actually finishing. The SCV is getting pulled off the line to fight against those drones, and the um, additional drones are coming across the field. And the barracks will almost finish. Uh, looks like the drones are just going to take a break over here. They notice that this this is open, and here are the Zerglings. This is trouble for everything in here. The, the production facilities are going to be under fire, and the second barracks will be finishing constructing. Looks like the SCV is getting pulled off the line as well. The first Marine is out. Additional Zerglings going to be coming over here. Looks like... Um, the supply depot being lowered it's so the marine can get back inside a ton of SCVs not mining right now and uh, there's the engagement the zergling is eating away all of those SCVs and the marine is getting targeted down as well Duder is down to six food Nurzel's uh, essentially not mining except for this one drone and it looks like all of the SCVs have fallen and Duder has left the game um Oh, well, that was a really fast fourth game. Looks like somebody was still in here. Who's who's still in here? Uh, so, Mickey, uh, let's see. Isis is still in here. I guess he was not actually watching this game. And uh, so, Duder wasn't, didn't scout straight into the base. He didn't see the pool. He noticed, he saw the two drones coming across the field and didn't react to, to it. And that's essentially what lost him this game. And uh, the UMBC takes it 3-1. Congrats to UMBC. Now 9-0 and in the Collegiate Star League. Uh, now finishing divisional play. I think we're they're going to be playing some other regional games. I'm not too sure how it works right now. Um, so we'll see uh, what additional games come our way. I'll be casting a lot of the UMBC games as well as games from other schools. So be sure to subscribe if you're interested in what happens next in the Collegiate Star League.